a freshman, I didn't see many people who looked like me. In fact, myself and one other girl were the only two black women in our graduating class of 122 nursing students. Whoa. I know you're feeling isolation. I know what it feels like to be solidarity with only yourself. And this is why I'm telling you to speak on the importance, importance of being together. Within the first university, you have a center called SBMA. SBMA stands for Student Diversity and Multicultural Affairs. And I was there. I found two women up together. Take your time. Take your time. Take it. Take your time, young brother. We here, yo. Take your time. This is something I don't do. I always keep my voice in. Nah, now it's time to speak up. Time to speak up now. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. Whoa, whoa. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I just turned 18 years old. Oh, yeah. I've been criticized by, you know, I don't take racism seriously. I'm not going to say that I'm racist, but I'm not going to say that I'm racist. 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 I'm not going to say that i am racist i Everybody go. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hey. Um, a lot of you know me from Instagram. I am Nye from Black Little I have a 
love where I pretty much let everything hit the ceiling. Oh yeah? And I don't have any yeah. boundaries what I put. So today I'm going to address the police myself. Huh? All right, we're good. I'm gonna address the police. Whoa! 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 Let's address them. Yes, yes, yes. The police culture that we have in 2020 is not uh -huh. acceptable. I will Whoa. not let you continue that. Whoa! Whoa! I'm not Whoa. Gonna lie. Okay. And I'm doing something that. Okay. Has, this is new. Fired up. This is a new type of culture that has started. Because Ooh. now I'm 22 years old. When I was growing uh -huh. up, David Daniels was in the streets. Like, oh, you know, talk. Let's it talk. Let's I talk. Uh huh. It is a demand from me and my peers that you educate the police and put them in Ooh. our streets. Ooh. Ooh. They need to understand what it feels like to be a part of the Bridgeport community and not just work here for 40 hours a week. Ooh. Ooh. I still have oh. to live and prosper in this street. Oh. Oh. The curses that you have upon black people are also from this nasty police. And I will not allow it to continue uh -huh. from myself, right. from my sister, uh -huh. from my brother, from my mother, from Bobby, who is a part of my community. Yes, yes. everyone who is here under the sun of my voice, it, will, it stops today. Yes. And if you need an example, David Daniels is available. He, he called him out on Facebook Live earlier and he showed up. If you need an example of how it is, you can call David Daniels is just one of many that you should from back in my day. Yeah, I'm yeah. Some of y'all, but from back in my day. Right. I could go and duck and donuts and David Daniels could ask me if I was okay. Ooh. If I need to help with my homework, Ooh. I fell off with my bike. He helped me. Ooh. When he was out of wow. uniform, he was a part of this community. And that's what we need, police in this area, to be educated. And I'm gonna turn myself around because I know people on this side of me. We right. need to help educate them. Uh -huh. Our babies should not be scared to tell the police what is happening. As a woman, if something happens to me, I should be able to go to the police and let them hear me out. Stop just putting on a uniform for a paycheck and put on the uniform for change. Excellent. You want to give them a hand for their first time. Yes. So, some of them were very nervous. This is their first time. Some of them are just finding their voice. Right. This is their first right. time. So, I want to give them another round. Yes, yes. Yes. It takes a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I uh -huh. wanna I wanna remind you guys of a few things that are very important. And then Jen, uh -huh. um, Jen is gonna read our demands as youth demands that we have. She's gonna Whoa. read them for you. Whoa. But the first thing we wanna talk okay. about is you must vote. Everybody say vote. Vote. Let's say it again. Vote. Vote. V O T E. It's in your. It's in your. It's in your. Your power is in your vote. You may not think it's important, but it is very, very important. We want people to understand that if you don't vote on the local level, right. things that happen in your community will continue to happen. Yes. You have to vote in your community and then take the vote all the way up to the presidential vote. But the presidential vote is not as important as your local vote. Everybody say vote. 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 Whoa. I'm going to invite one of my friends up here, Miss Jameem. She's going to share a little Whoa. bit of why voting is important yes. and why young people are needed for this fight. Yes. Miss Jameem, let's give Miss Jameem a hand. <laughs> Hello, young people. Hey. I'm so proud of you. Hey. I was also born and raised in Bridgeport.
We are a civic organization. We are here to help you and to help our entire community lift up our voices on a local level. It is so important what this young lady just said. Vote, voting on the local level for your mayor, your city council, your state representatives, your state senators, your political parties. We have a Democratic town committee. We have a Republican town committee. We have a working family town committee. And if you are a part of those political parties, you can vote to, for who is actually gonna end up on your ballot. Yes, yes. You have a lot of power. Yes, yes. A lot of power. Woo, woo. So I am really interested in hearing your demands. Uh. I wanna work together with you to bring those demands directly to city council. Directly yeah. To, council, yeah. Yeah. to the state representative. Let's go. Directly to the governor. That is where you have to work. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. There's a special session coming up in Hartford. Yes, yes. Where we're going to get a bus. Oh, yeah. And you're going to go up there and oh, tell yeah. them what you want. Yes, let's talk. So Bobby is going to help organize you all. Yep. We're going to get this thing started. We ain't going nowhere. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Right. Who's house is that? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, Who's house? Our house. This is Bridgeport. Oh, oh. Let's get it up and make it All right. Also, too. Um, let me see this. If you are not registered to vote, and I know some of you are under the age of 18, but for those that are 18, you can actually register to vote. And here is a Spanish card and an English one. All you need is your information and you can fill it out and they'll put you on the register and you'll be able to register in the next uh, the next election, correct? August 11th. August 11th is the next election. You'll be able to do that. Also too, we want you to understand that voting is your power. That is one thing that people have fought for for years, especially women's rights and African American rights to vote. We owe it to our ancestors to vote. They fought for 400 years so that we could vote. When you become 18, are you guys gonna vote? Yes. Yeah. Are you gonna vote? Yes. Yeah. All right, so make sure that you vote. Now we're gonna call up Jen. She's gonna read through some of our demands. Some of you may not understand them, but we will explain them for you. And these are things that some of your peers have put together to represent you. So we have students from Hardin, Bassick, and Central, and yeah, give them a hand. Students from Harlem, Basket, Central. Some of them are shy, so we have our speakers that spoke on their behalf. But these are some of the students that put some demands together for you. Hello, everyone. So we're going to take turns reading the demand. We have Tiff here. Hey, Tiff. Hey, Tiff. So Ms. Shayna. Oh, Ms. Shayna. Co Shayna. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hey, All right, sisters. So demand number one. We demand the immediate reduction of the city city of Bridgeport Police Department 102, $102 million dollar budget. Ooh, we, the, we the community demand that $40 million of those funds be relocated to the community programming. Oh, oh, budget, budget and community initiatives. Right. So we want that money to go. Yeah. Community. Yeah. So, Let's get it in the community. We want that money to go to the community. Why? Because we need more programs for our youth, right? We don't need more money for the police. We need more money for the youth. For, for, we need more things for us to yes, do. Yes, yes, yes. Demand number two. We uh -huh. demand that immediate oversight of overtime being issued to the police oh, captain, oh. lieutenant, and other ranking oh, officers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all want to hear that again? Yes, please. Yes. We demand the immediate oversight of overtime being being issued to police captain, lieutenant, and other ranking officers. Yeah, they made like 600 last year. Get out of here. Yes, yes. So we saying we want that money to go to who? Us. Yes. U.S. 
We demand immediate cease and decease of all chokeholds. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm going to say that again. Yes, we yes. demand the immediate oversight of, of, oh, we demand the immediate cease and decease of all chokeholds or any other use of force which has potential to cut off the breathing of an individual. Yes, yes, you yes. Kill us. Yes. Stop killing us. Hi everyone. It's a blessing. You know how we do. So we demand that immediate medical be administered to any person injured as a result of police environment. Oh yeah. We will not sit on the street for eight minutes. No. We will not sit on the street for two minutes. Nah, sister. We tip. need immediate medical attention to be administered. Yes. Yes. We demand that the mayor of Bridgeport. Ooh immediately reactivate programming initiative for new hired officers to live within the community for a minimum of five years. Ooh, ooh. We don't need them hiding the hour away from where they live and coming to our community. Oh, yeah, 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 Yes, please. Once yes. again, we need to be involved. Yes, we yes, need yes, to yes. know what is happening. We need to know because we want to be in office one day. Why can't we understand and know what it is before we get into office? Ooh, why can't ooh, we? We why need can't to know we? and be there to know what to do and what not to do. Not to do. Yes. We will be in office. Oh, yes. Our youth will be in office. Ooh, ooh. To ensure transparency of Bridgeport Police Department policy and code ooh. of conduct, we demand that this be made readily available. Oh. The city sites is public information. Oh. We don't need it hiding behind nah. that. Nah. We don't need it forgotten that things were getting done. Nah, we nah, need nah, to nah, know. nah. We when need that. Happen, nah. Post it. ASAP. Public, not private. Yes. Because yes. you want to know what? Yes. When they're killing us and when they have their foot right. on our neck, right. it's public. Right. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 Now you hot right now. Stay exactly. on there. You hot. We are citizens of Bridgeport. Uh huh. All of us right here. Right. We are citizens right. of Bridgeport. Demand an independent external investigation on on the on. Oh no. Let me say it again. Yeah. I'm slow that. Yeah. 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 Slow that down. Let me let me get it nice and close. We the citizens, uh -huh. which is us. Right. Demand uh -huh. an independent external Ooh. investigation. 
I'm glad I came out. I'm glad I came out today. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so we're gonna explain that a little bit. So what that is is basically after something happens, they're all sitting in the room talking about it, and they have a group of people who they pick themselves. We should be in those rooms, not people that we don't know who don't understand what's going on. Who right. they pick? We should be in those rooms. Yes. So we demand that we are in those rooms, or we pick people who be in those rooms. We know who's making the decisions for us. That's what we demand. Oh. Let's give it up for our demand. Oh, yeah. The youth are here. We ain't going nowhere. The youth are here. We ain't going nowhere. The youth are here. We ain't going nowhere. Oh. Oh, we nowhere. So I'm excited we that you guys heard them. So yes, we yeah. We're still learning. So yeah. what those demands are, there are requests. Yes. And demands that we submit before people to actually make them yes. actionable items. Yes. That's what they are. So what you can do, and you can always reach out to one of us, is you can write down what you think you want to happen, see happen in your community. And we as adults and leaders, we're learning from some great leaders here. Yes. We will translate them into the language that they need to be translated into in order to see that they are met. That our needs are met as young community leaders yes. and young adults. Y'all like that? Oh yeah, we you love want it. Your voices to be heard. Oh yeah. All right. So also, so we talked about voting. We right. talked about our demand. Uh huh. We talked about what's next. Right. What next? What's next is we need you guys all to be aware of what's happening in your community. Yes. So yes, one yes. day run for office. So one day become the mayor. To yeah. so one day become the president. We want yeah. you to be able to take the next steps to do that. So that's why we have programs here. We have none other than Mr. Harry Bell. Whoa. Mr. Harry Bell, raise your hand. Let's give it up for Mr. Harry Bell. Oh yeah, I Mr. Ramos, where's Mr. Oh, Ramos? Oh, oh, uh, oh, Mr. Ramos. oh. Um, um, where's Miss Faith? Miss Faith? Brittany, Brittany, Miss Faith? Yeah, these are, so we have 100 girls leading here. We have, a, we have men of color here. We have color positive thought here. We have all these different youth organizations that are spearheaded by young adults, young leaders. Brittany and Faith are actually on my board for 100 Girls Leading. So these are programs you can get yourselves involved in. We have Black Girl Tea organizations and programs you can express how you feel and talk about what's going on in your community. We have uh, Generation Now. Yeah, we have uh, all of these different organizations yeah. that are geared to making sure we figure out what the next steps are so we can change our communities. Can you guys can you guys make a promise to me? Can you make a promise that you will join one of these programs? Get your children signed up to one of them. We're just asking you to join one so that you can continue the educational process. We don't know it all. We're still learning. I'm still learning. But we're here together, right? We did this together, right? Yes. All right, so we want you guys to do that. Also, I want to mention, we're pretty much done, but we're going to do something fun in just a second. There are ICs over here. Oh, yeah? If you guys want ICs, they are free. Oh, what? They don't cost you anything. Oh, okay. You finish yourself. All right. Mr. Harry Bell and Mr. Malik have a truck with fruit cups. Yes. And the reason why they're over there is because they have to stay refrigerated. Right. So if you want to walk over there, you're more than welcome to do that. Yes. We have water and snacks up here. Yes. We have Miss Faith. She has a whole container of snacks. Tons of snacks, so make sure you do that. Um, lastly, we're gonna hear from one of our other youth speakers, Miss Tiana. She's our last one. And then, how many guys feel like moving? You guys feel like moving just a little bit? We gonna have oh. Okay. Need your electric slide. Yeah. Let's get the slide on. Yeah. Jameer. Oh yes. So we have two, two, two speakers. They're gonna keep it short and sweet because we wanna get you guys out of here. Our goal is not to leave you in the sun. Right. We're gonna dance. Oh How yeah. How do you guys work oh. the Cupid Shuffle? Oh. You feel you feel electric slide? Oh okay, right. I'll slide so on. We're gonna slide on. That we can learn together. On. We can be active together, but we can also get together. We yes, can yes. Together. Oh, right. oh. So, I so we're gonna call up Mr. Jameer, and then we'll do Tiana, and then we'll get started on the next place. So Jameer, come on up, Jameer. Let's get up with Jameer. Yeah. I'm 
sorry I didn't see you before because it's a lot going on. So Jameer's gonna speak. He is our youngest speaker so far. He's our youngest. So um, one of the questions was, what do I feel about police brutality? I never really um, like agree with police brutality. And uh -huh. so it really like hit home when my mom got arrested because uh -huh. I was assaulted yeah, on the bus. And manhandled and the left in the cell for over about like nine hours. Nah, we still in c -top. So I really never took police brutality as Serious as it was, because I always didn't happen to nobody. Yeah, yeah, where they have consoles. Now, we, I guess after this, they're going to be walking back to the green or whatever. It's like two more speakers, and then they're going to do a little dancing. And then, I guess we out of here. What? So, um, what I would like to see change. Today, the way they are, they say they are properly, properly trained, but they're really not properly trained. So, because at the time that my mom had got arrested, if okay. police was, if they were really properly trained, they would have had their body cams on. They claimed they didn't have their body cams on, so they wasn't properly trained. Because if they were properly trained, they would have their body cams on. Um, and then the last question was, what would I like to see mm. my peers do okay. about police and police policing? I can't really speak to nobody else, but um, I just say stop being dumb. And just change the way you, you don't, you don't gotta try to do like nobody else and nothing like that. So. Thank you. So, some water here and stuff. Did you guys see what happened when Jameer was looking for his? Okay. His brother got down and he helped them. And that's exactly what yeah. all of you young king kings need to do. We're all yes. we're all brothers and sisters. Yes. Anybody needs help, jump out there and help them. Don't say that's not my problem, let a hand him. Get down. His brother is videotaping, he's helping him, he's there supporting his brother. And we need more of that. Yes. And our last speaker, Miss Tiana. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone behind me. I'm just saying hi before because I'm coming back to you. I'm sorry. Um, hi, my name is Tiana. I'm 20 years old. Um, I went to school my whole life in Bridgeport, and I got involved in social justice advocacy a while ago. But um, really, I'm here today for the same reason as everyone else, that today we carry the weight that all those lost people's families are carrying together. Um, Samir has just spoke before me and her kids. Um, I'm sure everyone could see the light that was gleaming out of her son as he spoke about his experiences. Our youth need to be in touch with what's inside. They need to know that they are able. They need to know that they are worth it. Our boys are not violent, they are black and they are beautiful. Our women are not grown, they are black and they are beautiful. Our blackness scares you. Our blackness You've never seen it before. It's gleaming. We're gonna do it again. We'll do it every time. Every time. So today, I want everybody to stand up right now. Oh. All right. So everybody, just look around and really embrace what's going on here right now. 
we win. All right, so we're getting ready to dance, but I want to make sure we leave this affirmation. Yes. The, so the sound today was donated by this amazing man. I met oh, him yeah? in Norwalk. Oh, yeah? And I was protesting in Norwalk. And he donated uh -huh. his name is Mr. Lamborghini. He ever said, hey, Mr. Lamborghini. Hey, Mr. Lamborghini. Hey, Mr. Lamborghini. Hey, Mr. Lamborghini. He is an Afrobeat artist. Um, he's not from America, but he's been here for for, for about a year. Yeah, about a year or so. So after we do Cupid Shuffle, he's gonna play some of his music. You guys are more than welcome. It's all about black men teaching young men that they are they are powerful as black men and those that are black men. So last day we're gonna chant and then we're gonna do Cupid Shuffle and then you're gonna hear from him. All right. So you're gonna say this after me. It is my duty to fight. It is my it's duty, duty to fight. fight for our freedom. For our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love each other. We must love each other. And support each other. And support each other. We have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. But our chains. But our chains. We have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. But our chains. But our chains. I need you guys to stop your feet because they used to chain black people with the, with the chains around their ankles and chains around their hands. Even though you may not be black, we want you to understand, let's be together in unison. We have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose. But our chains. But our chains. We have nothing to lose. Yeah, I like that, I like that. But our chains. But our chains. We have nothing to lose. I like that, I like that. But our chains. 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 You guys to walk in freedom. Yeah, I like that. Hear from Cupid I like that. I want you guys to enjoy yourself, get some water, and then you'll hear from Mr. Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it now. Don't be shy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Get in there. Get in there now. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. 